Hello guys, welcome back. So this is your coach Sanjeet and we are going to perform next 30 minutes that is a heat session. Okay? What I want that you keep a water bottle and towel along with you so whenever you need a sip of water, you can have a sip of water. Okay? So without any wasting time, let's jump to the warm up. So first warm up movement is called inch warm T spine rotation. Each movement would be of 30 30 seconds and total we have four movements. So first of all, what I want that you stand at the end of the mat. Distance should be according to the hip width. You can softly bend your knees, you can lock your knees according to your comfort zone. Walk on your palm till high plank position. Rotate your upper body and then slowly slowly come back and stand tall. This will help you to activate your hamstrings and your upper body. Okay, let's get ready. Starting in 3, 2, 1 and start. Lock your knees, walk on your palms till high plank, rotate your upper body, slowly slowly come back, stand tall. You can be in a partial squat as well if you want. Last few more. And stop. Good job guys. The next movement called a cat and camel. So you're going to drop your knees on the floor. Place your palm right below the shoulder. Lock your elbow. You have to tuck your abdomen in. Then arch your back. With that, you will be able to activate your vertebras. Okay? Let's get ready. Starting in 3, 2, one and start breathe in breathe out keep breathing keep doing your movement last few more seconds Last one and stop. Great walk. The next movement called good morning stretch. So that is called a hinge movement. Okay. So what I want that you stand according to the hip width. Now from here, keep your chest proud. You can keep your hands behind your head. Now retract these scapulas this way. Okay. After that, softly bend your knees. Keep pushing your hip back. Imagine you're pushing a wall then lean down. Automatically your body will start going down whenever you're pushing your hip back. You'll observe a nice stretch on your hamstrings and the glute muscles. Okay? Let's get ready. 3, 2, 1 and start. Soft knee, bend your knees. Keep pushing your hip back. Hold. When a shoulder, hip comes in one line, hold it there and then stand tall. Contract your glutes. Good job. Great. Nice way. Last few more seconds. And stop. Great work guys. Now, the next movement called vertical jump. So you have to jump higher. So what you have done that hinge, again you have to just slightly push your hip back. From here you can use your hand movement that should be upwards and you can land softly on the ground. Okay, so that will be for 30 seconds. If you find difficult of jumping, then you can just jump on the spot. Clear? Let's get ready. 3, 2, 1 and start. Push your hip back. Use your hand movement. Land softly on the ground. Nice way. Keep jumping. Land softly on the floor. Few more seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. Great work, guys. One round done. We have one more round to go. Let's increase the intensity now. Let's try to do more repetitions. Three, two, one, and start. Whenever you're walking, this will improve your shoulder stability. Whenever you're coming back, stand tall, tight your glutes.
One more time. And stop. Great walk. The next movement, cat and camel. Drop your knees. Get yourself down. Starting in three, two, one. Let's go. Last few more seconds. Aware of the engagements on your vertebras. Push the ground, engage your scapulas. Arch your back. Engage your lower back, your thoracic spine. And stop. Great work. Good morning stretch. Now, sometimes guys, what you will observe that you're rounding your back unintentionally. So what I want that you keep your chest proud, you can keep your hands behind and you can perform the same movement this way. Just make sure that you push your hip back, don't round your chest. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Just up, keep pushing your hip back this way. Okay, once you get the mechanism, then you can keep your hands back, retract and execute the same movement. Observe a nice stretch on your glute muscles and your hamstrings. Last few more. And stop. Great walk. Vertical jumps. The same slightly hinge and then jump. Three, two, one. Let's go. Land softly on the ground. Don't slam your foot. Land on the ball of the foot. Use your hands as a momentum. This will give you an extra, a little bit force. Stop. Amazing guys. We are done with the uh, mobility and warm up. Now let's jump to the main workout. In the main workout first, we have squats and we will do side to side. So, shoulder width stance, toes slightly pointing outwards, slightly descend your hip back and down. That's a squat. So, after finishing a one squat, you have to move to the side, then again squat. Side and then squat. Okay? Now, whenever you're performing this movement, please make sure that while doing squats, don't raise the heel up. Okay? Keep your feet flat. So, we are going to perform each movement for the next 30 seconds and 20 seconds would be a breather clear let's get ready shoulder with stance three two one start squat keep moving squat there you go sway you can increase your speed you can step out a little bit wider One more and stop. Great work. The next movement called broad jump and we are going to perform one sprawl. It's two movement. So let me show you broad jump. So I jump forward, then place your palm on the ground, jump back, jump forward, again come back. Clear? Those who are finding it difficult, you can just go forward, squat, jump back, again. Avoid your broad jumps and all. Okay? Let's get ready. Starting in three, two, one. Let's go. Broad jump, sprawl, and then come back. Great work, guys. Whenever you're jumping, whenever you're landing, please land on the ball of the foot. Keep your feet flat, not on your ball of the foot. Keep your heels down and then perform your sprawls. Few more. And stop. Amazing guys. Great job. Now, we'll add jump squat side to side. 
earlier we have done jump or uh, only normal squat but here we are going to form jump squat but we'll keep moving side to side okay let me show you so jump squat once you finish side again jump squat this way clear finding it difficult you can do on the spot jump squat either squats but don't stop let's go three two one and bring it on Keep breathing always. Nice way. Very good. I hope you are doing great over there. Come on. And stop. Excellent guys. Great work. But we are not done yet. The next movement is also going to challenge you for your lower body and the movement called squat hold <laughs> exactly you can uh, take a wall support and all never mind let's go for the squat hold shoulder width stance three two one and hold knee hip try to keep it in one line 30 seconds keep your hands forward either down choice is yours we have a few more seconds Keep breathing. Come on guys, come on. You can close, you can be stronger. Last few more seconds. Almost there guys. Three, two, one and stop. Amazing. Now 30 seconds, recovery time. Recover yourself nicely. Whatever the movements uh, was new for you, go slow, understand that mechanism of the movement and gradually increase the intensity okay meanwhile recover yourself you can have a sip of water if you want few more seconds get ready squat side to side three two one let's go squat side again squat stand tall keep moving this way Nice way. Great job. Try to bring your hip a little bit down below your knee line. But maintain a gap according to the shoulder width whenever you're going for the squat. And stop. Broad jump with sprawl. Come on. Prepare yourself. It's not physically, mentally as well. Aware of the movement. Get ready. Starting in five, four, Three, two, one, let's go. Great job. Keep jumping, come on. You're doing great over there. You can do only broad jumps, you can do only sprawl. Never mind if you're finding it difficult. But if it's going easy, challenge with the more counts few more seconds one more and start great work recover yourself shake your legs jump squat side to side starting in three two one let's start Thirty seconds. Don't stand tall. Keep moving. Last few more seconds, guys. Come on. Almost there. One more. And stop. Great work. Recover yourself. Take a deep breath. Get ready for the squat hold now. Starting in three, 
two, one, let's go. Come on, keep holding. Try to keep your knee hip parallel this way, okay? As you can see, don't lean your body so much. Don't keep your hip up. Few more seconds. Come on guys, we are almost there. Come on. Keep smiling. Yes. Three, two, one and start. Great work. We have one more round to go. Recover yourself. Shake your legs. <sighs> guys, if you are not doing your low body workout, start doing that because if you start strain your low body, you will feel that you the lower back pain which usually happen will not happen. Okay, it will make your back stronger as well, your core stronger. Okay, because whenever you're doing your squat, you're doing the movement with the core stability, with the core strength as well. Okay. Let's get ready. Again, squat side to side. Starting in three, two, one. Position and let's go. Now here, whenever you're moving, you can stand tall, squat, complete the movement, then move this way. Whenever you're coming up, push your heels towards the ground. Nice way. Great job. Few more. One more. And start. Great job. Broad jump. Let's get ready. Okay. So guys, 30 seconds. Okay. Let's make it eight. Is it possible? Let's try. Come on. Position. Starting in three, two, one, let's go. Faster. More speed. You can do more than that. Come on guys, more than eight. You can do that. We're almost there. Come on guys, two more. One more and stop. Great work. Excellent job, guys. Jump squat. Whew. Shake your legs. Take a deep breath. Get ready. Three, two, one. Now don't stand tall. Way. Few more seconds. There you go. Come on. Last few more seconds, guys. Come on. Let's try to do four more. Three, two, one, and start. Great work. We go for the hold. Shake your legs. Take a deep breath. Get ready for the hold. Starting in three, two, one, and hold. Keep holding, come on. See. If you focus on your pain, you will not you will start giving up. Okay? Don't stress over there, try to divert your mind, think about something else, start singing your favorite song. That will help you to divert your mind. Keep it just up. Only a few more seconds. See? While talking, I haven't uh, realized that when 30 seconds went. Okay? Amazing guys. So we are done here with the main workout. Now let's move to the next part. We are, we are going to perform two movements, okay? Meanwhile, if you need a little bit break, please have a break, shake your legs, you can hydrate yourself a little bit, and then 
we'll start again okay recover yourself nicely now let me tell you that now two movements each movement is going to be for 30 seconds only but total we'll try to perform three rounds okay so the first movement is called hip bridges now you will lie down on your back fold your legs drive your hip now whenever you're driving please make sure that you push the ground with your feet and raise the hip up contract your glutes and then down okay let's get ready 30 seconds three three one and start exhale contract your glute muscles keep your head down don't raise the hip up don't raise your head up your head should be fully on the ground keep resting only push the floor to raise the hip up there you go last few more seconds this will help you to strengthen your glute muscles your lower back as well but try to not engage your lower back squeeze your glutes last few more three two one and stop great now the same movement the mechanism is not going to be dynamic now it should be a static the position is same hip bridge but we are going to hold now okay so you will lie down on the floor you will drive your hip up and you will hold the position clear let's get ready three two one and start let's go 30 seconds hold keep breathing use your core strength keep your core muscles tight tighten your glute muscles keep pushing the ground keep holding don't lose your core tight your glutes especially push the ground with your feet keep holding keep holding guys we're almost there last three two one stop amazing guys good job we have two more rounds to go clear let's get ready again starting in five four three two one and start hip bridge contract your glutes squeeze it nice this way whenever you're driving your hip up push the floor observe a nice contraction on your glute muscles last few more seconds almost there come on three two one and stop great work now we go for the hip bridge hold get ready starting in three two one and start hold the position keep breathing keep holding contract your glutes last few more seconds almost there guys three two one and stop great job now i want you to observe that engagement and that contraction whenever you're driving your hip up and down okay let's go one more time last round bring it on three two one let's start squeeze it amazing guys stay there it's going to be a killer low body workout for you and for me as well nice way squeeze it last few more three two one and start great work recover yourself we go for the last 30 seconds hold starting in three two one let's go hold it squeeze your glutes keep your core engaged right now i can understand that your muscles are giving up 
but I know you are strong enough your willpower is so much strong it's not going to bother you much stay there stay with me we'll all go strong together the three two one and stop great work guys amazing guys I appreciate really appreciate your efforts so here we're done with the workout now now we jump to the cool down So, cool down guys as we have uh, done uh, so much fatigue and torture to the lower body, we'll try to stretch our lower body muscles, our glute muscles, our hamstrings, okay, to release all the stress. The first one called single knee hug. So what you have to do, you will lie down on your back, you're going to bring your knee and pull toward your chest. You will observe a nice stretch on your glute muscles and your hamstrings, okay, three, two, one. Let's go. Keep your head down. Hold for the next 20 seconds. Keep breathing. Stretch your other leg. Pull. Nice. Keep breathing. And switch. We'll do the same thing to the other leg. Hold. Pull. And lie down. Keep holding. Last few more seconds. I want you to observe a nice stretch on your glute muscles. Last three, two, one and stop. Amazing guys. Now, we are going to perform supine twist pose. For that, you will lie down on your back again. You will bring your left knee toward your right side and make sure the other hand should be down. Your scapula should be on the floor. Okay, let's go. Try to observe a nice stretch. Keep breathing. This would be also for 20 seconds each side. Try to apply some force. Hold it. Nice way. And switch. We'll do the same thing to the other side. Hold your leg and drop. Nice. Observe a nice stretch on your glute muscles. Last few more seconds guys, stay there. Last six, five, four, three, two, one and stop. Amazing, great work. Now, I want you to stand tall. The movement called straddle stretch. Open your legs wider. Now, you have to lock your knees if possible either softly bend your knees choice is yours but you have to push your hip back and touch your both hands if possible you'll observe a nice stretch on your hamstrings okay three two one let's go guys remember we are not doing a split so please don't do a split open your feet more than shoulder width a little bit and try to go down by locking your knees this is for 30 seconds keep holding Last few more seconds. I want you to observe a nice stretch on the hamstring muscles. Stay there. Three, two, one, and stop. Great work. Now, close your feet. Now here, whenever you, I want you to go down, lean forward, and try to touch your feet, if possible. If it's not happening, then you can softly bend your knees, push your hip back, and hold your feet. If you can lock your knees and hold, that would be great. Okay, starting in three, two, one, softly bend your knees, Push your hip back, hold it for the next seconds. Few seconds. Keep pushing your hip back. Try to lock your knees if possible. This is release all the stress from your back. Almost there. Last five, four, three. One and start. Great work, guys. Shake your legs, shake your whole body, and let's clap for each other, guys. Did an amazing job. Great work. Now, a small uh, important tip I want to give you please have a good sleep, okay? And if tomorrow, if you're getting some pain, don't feel that you got some injury, just a soreness. 
it's a kind of a process of your muscle growth just try to have a good sleep and try to have a protein intake in your food because that is the only source of your muscle building and your muscle recovery okay now uh, and please make sure that you don't forget to share your feedback on our facebook community stronger together with gulf at home with that note signing off this is your sanjeet kumar see you in the next session for more such workout videos download the calfit app now also don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel we are cult